At the end of Graham's last video, she aired out that Ari was one of the victims of R. Kelly. And that's something that shocked everybody. That came out of left field. Ari went live on Instagram and she had to get the law involved. So King's Corner captured it and we're going to go ahead and react to it. Y'all ready? I definitely am. <laughs> Let's get it. Actually, look, my my friend that she didn't go through with me, but she was there during one of these encounters. So she knows. Sorry, I'm hitting these bumps. She knows what went on. She knows the truth. And I'm speaking on R. Kelly. OK, y'all? My friend is in this group message when I met him. So I don't remember the exact date, but R. Kelly did come to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and he did a performance. He performed at Track 29. I did not have tickets to the concert. I didn't go to the concert, and I wasn't okay. expecting to see this man. But my sister and I, we were walking downtown, and he was walking out of, I guess, the hotel that he had for the, like, his stay here or whatever. And people was taking pictures, so I lined up to take a picture. And I don't even think I ever took a picture with him. And he was like, shake my hand. And I was like, huh? And he was like, shake my hand. So when I shook his hand, he like passed me his phone number somehow. And I, I swear I thought it was fake. Like, I thought it was fake. But I called it like... So I watched Surviving R. Kelly, the whole series. That's actually one of the things that he did was pass out that phone number like that or she would, or he would have someone else in his camp do the same thing by passing his phone number he pulled it off and he looked at me like he was like in a black in the black cars like the black trucks that them celebrities be in he was in one of those and he had like the window like it was all the way down but down enough to see his glasses because he always wore like the black glasses so it was down far enough to see the glasses so i ran like back to my mom and i was like oh my gosh i was like our kelly just gave me his phone number and she's like, you're lying. I was like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> she was like, give it to me. I was like, no, you're going to get his phone number. But I'm not thinking nothing of it because, granted, because granted, I didn't know his history of him. Like, I was only a teenager, y'all. Most and people I had didn't. just turned. I had just turned 18 because it was in 2013. So y'all might have to go look it up whenever it happened. Whenever he came 2013. Yeah, people did know. He was already being charged with that when he allegedly peed on a, was it a 12 or 13 year old girl? Oh my God. And then your mama knows that he gave you his number. Oh my God. I, I swear to God. People who are R. Kelly fans, they just see the innocence in him and they look at him like a, like a damn superhero. Your mom, sh your mom fucked up with that one. Because you're underage, girl, at the same time. Were you? I'm 13. I was a fresh new 18 year old. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm grown for real. Like, oh, okay. I really so she's I'm an adult so 18. Okay. Number. So I'm, I did, we did text, we did talk on the phone, but to go to the far, that, like, at length and say that all that other stuff happened, because I'm not going to even say that, because no. But if you knew better, you would do better, because when you speak on stuff like that, you got to be like, send this type of disclaimer or something, but you sat there, oh, and you okay, made it seem I see. like this is what really happened. Got it. It's crazy. I need to get over it. Got it's it. It's crazy because... You act like you went through it. Like, did you want the man that bad that you had to tell these stories? And granted, he did try to fly me out before. But y'all, I was only 18. I was still working. And I was just scared. Like, I knew my mom was going to cuss me out. Like, mama wasn't playing. And the morning, y'all, so tune into King's Corner on YouTube. King's Corner will break everything down that y'all can't explain. And if you miss something, she caught it. <laughs> but... Like I said, we did text. We did see each other a few times. But it's like if he was going... I can't see. They oh. did see each other if a few times. If he was going on like a tour or something. So they hung out. to the city. We would link up or something. Like I think he got spotted at the mall one time. Or at the Starbucks or something. But to say that that's what was going on. And that's not what was going on. Ooh, can I turn? So y'all didn't hook up? But um, that's how I need... Just ask more questions and I really can tell you the truth. I'm I asking. shared this story. This story has been shared with people plenty of times, plenty of times. But that side that was told was never, ever, ever the truth, ever. And then for, to sit up there and act like that, like she was, I, I stayed at her house the day before I went and got my yearly checkup. And my, you can literally 
step out her apartment and see my GYN's office. Like, it's right there. So, and the crazy thing is, when I was texting R. Kelly, I was even dating this dude. I posted him on my story, too. I was dating this dude, and he knew what was going on. Like, we would text. He was sitting right there beside me. We didn't, like, oh, I was trying to be secret about it or anything. Like, I really didn't know that that was going on. And I feel like if I would have talked to him longer, then... Then you would have became a I victim. I probably would have been on, like, a, what is it? The Surviving R. Kelly story. For sure, for Sorry, sure. I'm thinking and driving. The Surviving R. Kelly story. But I think those people that were, like, meeting with him, actually linking with him, they, um, they wanted something out of it. Like, they wanted a career. They wanted some type of lifestyle, I guess. I don't know. But I didn't want anything from it. I just thought I was doing something just because he was a celebrity. <laughs> I really did. Oh, my God. But to say that you've seen all this on my phone, I haven't even seen this on my phone. Like... <laughs> Where did you see this at? I know you can log into people's stuff, but did you ever log into mine? How old was you at that time? I, t I, had, I told you I just turned a fresh 18. My birthday is August 30th. He either came to chat, it was either September or October. It was between September and October, I think. It was between that time. You'll just have to look it up. I really don't remember. It was R. Kelly, Chattanooga, Tennessee. And he came and performed at this place called Track 29. R. Kelly is so nasty, y'all. I love his music, but he is nasty. I really don't remember. Nasty. Because I didn't have to. And the sad part is that he's from my hometown. He's from Chicago. You know how much of a disappointment that was for our community? Like, damn, we have the R&B king coming from our city. And then you come up with all, you come up with all this. Oh, so disappointing. To go to the show. You ain't lying about knowing him. I remember that. I don't know why. People remember it because when people did do their surviving R. Kelly, I said something about it. Like on my Instagram, I spoke out about it. But I never. Yeah, and this is how I knew I was legal too because I remember he asked me to send a picture of my birth certificate. Or something <laughs> what else the fuck? He asked for. Why is he asking for your birth to, certificate? Like, he needed proof that I was not lying about my age. That's crazy. And he was like, "Oh, you remind me so much of Aaliyah and stuff like that." And at the time, I didn't I didn't even know they were in a relationship. Like, I don't know. I just really thought I was doing something because he was a celebrity. So uh, I was bragging about it so people knew about it. It ain't like I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm not telling nobody. No. If, I didn't want, if I was doing the stuff that was said, I wouldn't have told nobody. But to me, I thought I was doing something. So I'm telling people. Girl, where are you so going? I a story to tell. Where are you driving to? But I just feel like when you address situations... You have to address them properly, thoroughly, truthfully. And if you're speaking on something mm -hmm. and you are telling a half story or you're making it seem like you knew the story, then you gotta you gotta act accordingly. All I need out here is my keys and my phone, I believe. Okay, so what's she about to do right now? Grandstand. If you're wondering where I am, yes, that's what I'm asking. We're at the courthouse. We're finna file some paperwork. Cause what you say, a seasoned assist? I hope you got money for that. Cause we're finna, we're finna get you right. We're about to get you all the way right. I gotta file this. <laughs> oh, then you gotta go find a lawyer. And I, I feel like OG should have yeah, put you girl. on. Cause when people was coming for OG Hell and they yeah, was lying girl. about her family, and she was getting her lawyer. She did it on social media. I don't have to do it on social media because I'm actually doing it in real life. That's what's so, up. That's the difference between us. I, I get that. See, because I think Grams was full of shit. I think, he was, I think she was just trying to scare people. Okay, She ain't got the money. She ain't got the funds for that shit. But this girl apparently does. And she don't talk about it. She be about it. She's talking to us while going to the courthouse. Grams, you fucked up. Okay, so let's see what kind of paperwork she's filing. Hamilton County Courthouse. Mm-hmm. We're walking in here. Mm-hmm. And we're finna fill out the paperwork. I'm good, how are you? But when you get the lion, you gotta fight them lawyers, because I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. Oh my god, Grams, you be getting into some more and more trouble. See here? You fucked with them with the wrong girl. You don't talk about someone's traumatizing experiences. I mean, that obviously wasn't traumatizing for her because she wasn't a victim. 
but you get so in your head to believe in my story or I'm trying to make people believe a story that's not theirs but everyone knows about r kelly's story so if you're gonna tie someone into that without really knowing the facts that's some real legal shit i'm about to have to get off my phone because i have to show them the video because you might try to delete it after this so i have to show them it's pretty recorded too but i gotta show the video and I, um Girl, it don't matter if she deletes it or not because we have you have all the reactors reacting to it so you can just get it off of their off of their channel too address and so that's i have it. to give her house address so whenever they serve her she'll probably still end up going to jail for the warrants that she has from breaking into lily's house Damn. <laughs> this girl she knows she's got warrants and she's gonna get her locked up yo fuck Oh, man. I don't know what to say about this one. Damn, I want to know how Nick and Carla feel about this because <laughs> they gave her the platform and it led up all the way to the least into some legal shit. So maybe Nick and Carla don't give a fuck because, you know, Grimes brought this to herself. But, oof. Damn. Look, the, the order of protection while I'm here because she's going to get real mad. She's going to get real mad. But yeah, that's why I had to wait to speak on it because I didn't want anything to get deleted, taken down, or anything. But oh, that's smart too. Like not only file paperwork, but and they're gonna go serve her, but she's also gonna file paperwork to of an order of an order of protection. Because when Grant, you know how Grams is, she's a little stalker. So when she comes out, she cannot contact this girl. Um, for it's gonna be an emergency. I'm thinking it's going to be an emergency order of protection. I had to file one of those before in my past, but just, that's an automatic protection. But there's usually a court date set. And then from there, they'll either let you keep the order of protection for a certain amount of time or they decline it. So regardless, she's going to be protected a little bit. So if Grams ever tries to reach out, you can get her ass arrested again. Damn. Like I see it. These men are looking at me. I'm going to ask them. I'm gonna go to the second floor. They have to catch Grams though to, to serve her. They can't just leave it at the door. What's today's date? She's gonna be on the run, y'all. We ain't gonna hear from Grams for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna show them the videos and let them know that she already has previous charges. Oh. And then that's like defamation of character because not once did you do a disclosure, not once did you say allegedly. You just took it and ran with it like it was your Ooh, story. Ooh, that's a so. fact. She didn't say allegedly. Like I said, damn. Here we are. We're gonna fill it out. We got Ariana Armour, Armour Strickland. I got to put it on here. Give it to the lady. And oh yeah, she can't. She won't be able to contact my family. Hopefully, like I said, I don't. I never minded her telling her truth, even when she was talking. Damn, y'all. Oh, it's already screen recorded. That's why I was like, I had my homegirl send it. To I me. don't think you can. Um, I think she can still reach out to your family members as long as she's not directing uh, communication towards you. You have. Um, other things that you can also protect during that order, you can protect yourself. You can put down your home. Um, you can put down your work, your car. All that stuff can be protected. So if she does anything to your car, if she comes and tries to visit you at work, she can get arrested. But I think she can um, contact people around you. I'm not sure about that. Every state varies. I would let her tell her truth all day. Even when she was telling the truth last night, I was like, oh yeah, she did do this, she did do that, I don't mind vouching for people that did do things but when you lie i can't do that okay i'm gonna inbox you good morning but we're here we're about to get taken care of when i leave here i will call y'all and let y'all know how it went well i'll call y'all <laughs> we're not on facetime you when i leave us. here i'm gonna get back on my live and let y'all know i'll answer i'm leaving the courthouse now i feel like i've been here for like whoo whoo so cold a minute whoo it's so cold Girl, it is four degrees where oh I'm at. Gosh, I gotta get air in my tire. That don't look cold to okay, me. Okay, I'm back. They can only do a temporary order right now, and if they can't serve her within 30 days. I guess they have 30 days to serve her, so they gotta catch her. <laughs> She's gonna play catch me if you can. <laughs> I'll have to find more addresses. Yeah. <laughs> it's so She's cold, on the run, y'all. So Grams is on the run. Ooh, I was in there for a minute. Because she got warrants. She ain't trying to get but, arrested. And you're dumb. I'm not going to lie to you, girl. You fucked up by putting this on live. I know you tried to, like, scare her, too. But you gave her a little heads up. You shouldn't have never done that. You want to catch her by surprise. That way they'll catch her. Oh, my God.
in because I did mention how she did um she does have the warrants and stuff for Damn. breaking into somebody else's Ooh, house. This is this drama's but getting real, so y'all. They can't use that information because it doesn't pertain to me, but they can th take that into consideration that that is part of her. <sighs> Sorry, I'm shaking this little. That is part of what she does. So they're gonna try to serve her today. It is just a what is it? Right now it's just temporary restraining order, or order of protection until the court date. We come to court on January 22nd. Right. So we're gonna tell a story. Make sure you make sure you tell it right, or make sure you mention that it's allegedly. Damn, y'all. <laughs> that story might just be the last one you tell. Oh about my me. god. So, that's done. Yes, I'm still sitting outside the courthouse. I literally just walked out not long ago. See my little crack in my windshield? But yeah. Woo! I'm glad that's done. And the video was still up too when I was in there. So she ain't took the video down. Maybe she ain't got word yet. But I feel like somebody in here probably would. That's what I'm saying. You fucked up with that. Sorry. She already mentioned me as being a cop caller. And I said she didn't lie about that. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't the cops, honestly. This is just the law. This is just the courthouse. Well, the cops are going to probably serve her. But... That's okay if you're a cop caller. What the fuck? Not everybody's from the streets, y'all. Like, if anyone tries to come to, to harm me, hell yeah, I'm calling the motherfucking cops. Ain't no one gonna, ain't no one out here in the streets gonna take care of me. I gotta take care of myself. The fuck? When they serve her, it's not anything. It's not a warrant. It's for her just to come to court. But she already has a warrant. When she goes to court, so because there's gonna be a, a date uh, to keep the order of protection going, or they'll arrest her there uh, because of the warrant. They're gonna do the court proceedings as usual, and then they'll arrest her as for having a warrant. Oh, she probably still will go to jail. Mm -hmm. But she's had that warrant out for a long time now, so she's good at avoiding stuff. So I don't know how long this will play out. But they did say if she doesn't show to court, that I'd automatically just be granted the order of protection. It wouldn't be temporary right. anymore. So there's that, and I'm officially done after today talking about it. Unless I'm done talking about her and her story, I'll tell my story. I'll talk about my story. But yeah. It's a done deal, honey. <laughs> she played everything smart. I'm gonna tell you, Ari played everything smart. The only thing she fucked up on was putting it on live. You should have kept you should have kept that shit on a hush because then she wouldn't be in the wrong, but she's gonna be in the wrong girl. Alright, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.